Right. Let's get going then. And therefore we're still escorting Martin. Tables. <laughs> they took a different route. <laughs> they know how to get there. I'm like, move bumbles around. Alright, this is Pyro Marble's painted horse. I guess this is a horse to take. Alright. So let's see. Round Ruma. Alright. All right. This piece is a bit large for me, isn't it? Alright. Maybe we have a sign up here. Let's see what the sign says. Ruma is this way. Good. Are they following me? Yes, they are following me. Oh, that. Doing this little ride in a thunderstorm. But I suppose, as I said, I suspect that the forces of Blizzard are making it more likely to be a storm than usual here. successful attempt at I'm used to a Rohirrim War Pony, not a Cyrodiilian horse and that's going to make things quite a bit tougher apparently Cyrodiilian horses are not trained for combat we're going to be running into these things all day aren't we Hey, where where did you go? You. I'm on your side. Sheesh. Okay. Be careful what I swing it, I guess. Alright. It's not a wild horse. I can imagine if I tried a war horse for this place. Oh my goodness gracious. I think it should be just too big for me. Well, I suppose that late friend that originally owned this horse 
probably wouldn't have been too well. Bit, wouldn't have been too pleased to be riding a pony, so I suppose I had little choice on the matter. Sure they Okay, it looks like they can keep up with me this time. I, I'm just so worried after what happened last time where I kept on losing the part. Probably because I was off the road and following all sorts of weird paths. And Well, who knows what else. What's that? It's, uh, it's just a mushroom. A rock, or whatever that is. So we'll continue up. And it shouldn't take us too long to get the room at this rate, should it? Well, this the orange road it doesn't look particularly orange to me. And I don't see orange, or I don't see any orange trees around here. What I do see is lots and lots and lots of rain. So that's a guard of some sort. Oh my I'm so happy to be inside after this. safely over the bridge before I... yeah, okay. And I certainly wouldn't want one of them to fall down the chasm while we are in the middle of this. Eventually, but I don't think I'm quite yet. So, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well. I can't quite. while you're on adventures. And also, get wet. A lot. What is this? Ruma. Well, 
button. for him you know Jeez. they just run by what is that that looks like a bandit Cheat bandit. Well, I don't need any of those clothes. Or... I just don't quite fit into the Khajiit armor. I have no trouble with. Why bother? <laughs> yeah, why bother? You know they're just gonna run by me. And Martin is gonna blast it. Oh, and it stopped raining! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we're about to get to Bruma. Unfortunately, we're not going into the town. We are going past the town. Be nice to go into a nice, lovely inn. But, I suppose that's not going to be for us. Actually, we may have to go through Bruma. Well, no inn. But we may have to go through town. Uh, they are still with me after that, right? No, they are not with me! One time I decide not to check. Where did they go? Oh, come on. Maybe I had to... Uh... Oh, not again. Where did they go? Hello? Let's continue on to Cloud Ruler Temple. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Kavach was attacked. Yeah, okay, follow me the then. The sooner we reach Cloud Ruler Temple, the better. Lead on. Right, well... Then... Mount up, okay. Thank goodness! Now... Alright, so I have to keep an eye for that. Since it looks like he can still decide to take a little break. Alright, sure. Yeah, okay, so now let's go to the temple. Here looks like is the town. Question is, do, is it way around or no? Nah, I guess we can. Looks like we can get through it easily enough. Or not. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, is there a horse there? No, I don't. I don't need to take that horse.
All right. I guess we have to leave the horses. How do you do? How do you do? Now, I guess we need to go this way. been able to go around and keep the horses. But it looks like entering the town got rid of them. Most interesting. Well. I was having trouble fighting with around anyway. So let us right. looks like the temple up there. Now in theory there shouldn't be anything nasty here, so there might be a wolf or two. Daedra or anything like that be hopping out, but then yeah, those things do pop up in unexpected places. Needs a key. It's the temple, right? Oh. Grandmaster, is this? I've put yes, myself I'm in your hands. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. Times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn. Hail, 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 Martin Martin Septim. Septim. hail! 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 Your Highness, the blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey, all of you. I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but... I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. I suppose the first thing we need to do is to get the amulet back. 
Of course. The Amulet of Kings. So we... I... can take it to the Temple of the One and light the Dragonfires. And stop the Oblivion invasion. And then you'll be the Emperor. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. And maybe when that happens, maybe by the time we get it back, you will know what to do. And what about the Oblivion Gate? Something has changed to make these stable portals to Oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. Right, and the Amulet of Kings? All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and Oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the Amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to Oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mehrunes Dagon will do. If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and Oblivion, you must waste no time in recovering it. Very well. What do you know of Daedric magic? I haven't always been a priest. In my youth, I followed a different path. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Let's just leave it at that. Right, very well. Don't worry about me, my friend. I know I'm in good hands here. All right. Well... I suppose that means... I am left... to find this amulet of kings typical <laughs>